is Boone. Most of the time I am a mundane human who does things like mathematics and technology in my day-to-day -day life, but once every 10 years or so I become briefly magical. You know, like when you start finding broken rings everywhere, there's faces in the woods and the crows are trying to get in, and you just decide to run with it because it's not every day you get a chance to become magical. Most of my life is about things with replicability and actual predictive power. It's been two years since the last time I turned magic. It lasted two months, and you know what? After two years, Moonspoon still holds up. So perhaps against my better judgment, I decided to share it beyond my inner circle. And if you're not into magic, just treat it as a fun personal story that ends with the irrefutable reality that Moonspoon exists now. So it's 2022. I decide I'd better ride the magic while the spirit lasts, take out the candles and incense, impulse buy a pendulum in the checkout line at the grocery store because on that magic day they just happen to have magic pendulums alongside the candy bars and chapstick. Oh, your new pendulum tells you it likes to drink blood and is mad at being ignored? Surprise it by making it a tiny house inside of a match box with a tiny bed and a dresser and closet in which to hoard its offerings. Let the spirit of magic guide your hands into sculpting whatever it needs, and if a tooth emerges out of my fingers, that's fine and normal on a magic day. The full moon aligns with the trees and streams through the window, and there's no choice but to sing it moon songs and gather some moon energy into a pitcher so that you can use it for moon stuff through the medium of moon-infused moon water. Like making moon ice to put into moon drinks, bottling it into a tiny moon water pendant, use it to mix your moon water colors. How about moon bubbles to do moon bubble magic? You ever have a magic bubble wand? Probably need a magic bubble wand to do magic moon bubble spells, and a magic wand multi-tool probably has four times the magic. I don't know why wizards don't have these for their everyday carry. And I get that one could argue that moon water isn't real whether or not I factually actually did moon things both to and then with the water in question. But I would argue that moon water is real in the same way that champagne is real. Is there some fundamental objective truth intrinsic to the liquid itself, absent humanity? Or is it champagne rather than sparkling wine because we humans decided we care about certain details of history and culture and provenance? So if I make there exist 50 entire things that Moonwater observably gets used for, then that is a day where Moonwater observably exists and I like my moon bubbles. The more moon I magic, the more magic moon becomes. And the 50th moon magic I moon the last one, the realest of the real, because it sits upon an edifice of extant moon magic. The final theorem, the QED, is the moon spoon. It came to me all together in a flash. The moon spoon, the moon spoon spell, the rules of the moon spoon, everything as if it had existed since the dawn of time, even though the moon itself hasn't even existed since the dawn of time. Moon spoon, moon spoon. Then 50 moon spoons to know what moon spoons are. They could be made of anything, wood, paper, metal. I made mine out of Sculpey clay and they can look like anything as long as there's a scoopy part to put stuff in. But some felt more prototypical like that there is a canonical historical example of a moon spoon. Some moon spoons have a handle that curves out a bit so it's easier to hold on to when you're placing your moon spoon on top of your window frame. Some moon spoons are designed for thinner, modern window frames. I barely scratched the surface of the many different offshoots of moon spoon design sensibilities, and the more moon spoons exist, the more real moon spoon becomes. I created a booklet that explained the rules of Moonspoon and how to do the Moonspoon spell. Now Moonspoon is real enough to have instructions. It's fully formed. I packaged them up, wrapped in recycled bits of fabric so that they'd be protected from sunlight, and started mailing them to friends and family, sometimes including a small vial of moon water or a vial of starter bits to use in their Moonspoon spells, so that they have lots of options when choosing a unique combination of four ingredients for their Moonspoon spell. I made special edition moon spoons for special occasions. I discovered moon spoons can be painted. Moon spoons can be individualized. There could be hand forged moon spoons, birthstone moon spoon, freeze dried emergency moon spoon, wood turned moon spoon, even moon spoon. That one's shaped like a cow. I'm not sure what kind of artist I am exactly. 
but sometimes a thing wants to exist, and the next thing you know, moon spoon on the window frame. Moon spoon is never the same. Coriander clove, googly eye, salt, salt, googly eye, clove. Coriander moon spoon is never the same. Moon spoon on the window frame. It was gratifying to my art that any of the people I sent these packages to actually did moon spoon with their moon spoon, but what I didn't anticipate was that Moonspoon would capture the imagination of people I didn't even know. It was cool to see what four ingredients people put into their Moonspoons to represent whatever it is they're trying to scoop up into their lives that month, and to see people planning for the next full moon what they want their month to be like, and how to articulate that in spoon form. I mean, it's simple enough. You just scoop up some moon energy while avoiding letting sunlight hit it, then you put in four tiny bits that magically or metaphorically represent what you want, and then you say the Moonspoon spell. Put it on your window frame or another high spot, like on top of a bookshelf, to radiate its Moonspoon magic into your home. Moonspoon has entered the world, and Moonspoon cannot be undone. Maybe I'm too used to mathematics. But just cause you divined the knowledge of something all at once from the ether, and or from a part of your brain you don't understand that just decides certain things are a thing, that doesn't mean it's not really real. Maybe that's the only way things become real. But just like mathematics, you don't have to take it from me. You can do it at home for yourself. Using Play-Doh or bread or gluing an aluminum can tab to a bottle cap, there's a lot of ways to make a tiny magic spoon. The full moon is coming up soon. And if I don't see some rando listing moon spoons on Etsy by tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to rethink whether magic is real. You have my permission. Who can resist moon spoon? Moon spoon. Moon spoon. Moon spoon.